All right, everybody, talk about an exciting weekend here in the city of Atlanta. Uh, on Saturday, we hosted the Olympic Trials Marathon, and on Sunday, we held the Publix Atlanta Marathon, Half Marathon, and 5K. Uh, I participated in both. I volunteered for the Olympic Trials uh, and all the events that led up to the actual race day. And uh, for my long run on Sunday, I actually paced the 345 Marathon group uh, at the Publix Atlanta Marathon. So I can't wait to tell you all about all the activities, everything uh, that I saw, the things that I did. Um, we got a busy recap coming for you. Let's get it. Before the trials on Saturday, we had a one mile kids marathon and a four by one mile uh, relay race for some of the high school students. Um, on Saturday morning, I also co-hosted a uh, talk on strategy for how to run the Publix Atlanta Marathon. And then on Sunday, I paced the Publix Atlanta Mar uh, Marathon for the 345 group and had an amazing time. It was the second year in a row uh, that I paced this run with Sandy. Uh, this time, last year, we, we sort of lost most of our group, but this year we had a nice group size, maybe about four or five people that finished the race with us. Um, they were super thankful. We had a blast. Um, this, being, in, uh, being in Atlanta for the trials was an amazing experience. Just being able to walk around the lobby, seeing all the elite athletes, just walking by, doing casual, just normal things. Uh, it was really, really exciting. I think it was a great thing for the city. Um, and if I must say so myself, if I may say so myself, we did an outstanding job. I think the weekend went across perfectly. Um, I got lots of feedback from both local runners and those who travel from out of town and everyone seemed to have a blast. On Thursday, the race hosted a meet and greet um, where we invited uh, many of the athletes that qualified for the trials to come out and speak to the, to the local running community. And um, it was just an amazing time. I just want to say thank you to each of the athletes that came out. But Darrell, tell us a little bit about how this event being here in Atlanta, uh, what it means to you personally as a runner and what it can mean to the race. Uh, I think this, this event being here in Atlanta is great for me because um, I'm able to see and meet some of these elite athletes and realize that they're just, they're regular people. You know, you, you sit here and you talk to them and you realize they're just like us. And to Habib's point, they just work really, really hard. And so I think what we're trying to do with the race is sort of bridge that gap. We want to show the entire spectrum of what it means to be a runner in the African-American community. And that can mean a lot of things. It can mean you're a walker. It can mean that you're a recreational runner. Or it can mean that you're an elite athlete. And we're trying to just create an environment where we can celebrate that entire spectrum. And hopefully make the team and group with anything. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to battle with the top guys. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to make moves to give myself a shot. And you know, at the end of the day, if it uh, blows up in my face, then I'm going to try it. But, um, yeah, for the best. Um, 
personally, I was still able to get all my running done. I had a little bit of a step back week. I ended up somewhere around 92 to 93 miles for the week, which was perfect. Um, after coming off three weeks of 100 plus miles. Um, and then I topped it all off with a 26.2 uh, mile run for my long run on Sunday. Again, as I paced the uh, 345 marathon group. I did have a little bit of pain on the top of my left foot um, after completing that marathon. I think I had my shoe tied a little too tight. And that's happened to me before. Um, it's just a little, a little annoyance. It's one of those things that normally within 24 to 48 hours, I can shake it. I just make sure I tie my shoes a little bit looser for the next couple of days. Um, but otherwise I feel fine. So, you know, day after the marathon, I'm still ready to get right back to it, get my miles in. Um, but yeah, I do have that little, just that little annoying sort of subtle pain on the top of my left foot from tying my shoelaces too tight. Again, nothing new, been here before. Um, nothing that I'm really concerned about at this point.